Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be trying out the hair dryer brush. This is a dupe, it's not Revlon, but it's a dupe, so I'll be trying out this brush today and telling you what I think about it. So keep on watching if you want to see my review. Uh, Y'all, please excuse how I look. I, I'm really tired. But anyways, so I got this for Christmas. It's the One Step Blow Dryer. I don't think it's Revlon. I think it's like a, a knockoff. I don't know. She got, I think she got it from Amazon. But um, yeah, here this is this how it looks. Let's see. Okay. Then this. I've seen the, what the Revlon looks like. It looks the exact same as this. Like this is a like an exact replica. I'm looking nervous. So for real. Quick. Oh, it looks nice. Oh, and I see that it doesn't have the bristles on every, on the center piece, like this part, this section, there's no bristles, that's weird. Maybe the Revlon has all bristles, I don't know. Well, we finna see, we finna find out. Okay, so it has three settings, it has the high, low, and middle. Okay, let's see what's underneath this. Okay, whatever. We're going to do half of my head just to compare. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of oil, just a little bit. I don't want my hair greasy. All on this side. Maybe a little bit more than that. My hair is really thick. Ouch. I don't know why I'm like tender headed right now. Oh, say hey to Bo. He's right here in the sun. Obviously, I'm gonna brush my hair through because I don't want it to be tangled. Okay, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Okay, I'm gonna do it on high because I, my hair is thick. Okay, this is how it's looking after a few minutes. It's like poofy, but I mean, mm -hmm. it doesn't feel like it's getting heated up that much either. It looks frizzy. It does not even look good. I thought it would be. Yeah. It don't. It, ah, it don't even look good. It look poofy. But we're gonna try some more passes. Let's see. I don't know. too bad but I mean it could be straighter it could be straighter but let's just keep going say my thoughts look, look at the difference I mean it did it did blow dry it out it didn't like get it like super straight or anything but I mean it did what it says it will do I don't know okay so the thing is the thing about this is it gets hot it does get hot but I feel like you have to wait for it to get to heat up because at first it was not that hot and I feel like it only comes out towards the front like this has air but it, like the most of the air comes out the front the top part so, and the sides. So I feel like I need to really brush every time to really get the air on my hair. 
But I mean, it still looks frizzy. I feel like I could have done this with a regular blow dryer. Um, it's soft, but it's still really poofy. I mean, I could still straighten my hair after this if I wanted to, but I don't know how I feel. Um, let me do the other side and give y'all my final thoughts, okay? Okay, so basically this is what my hair is looking like, all blown out. I really look a mess. Y'all, let me try to part it and try to do a style. Hold on. Y'all, what? I can't even. <laughs> okay, let me stop playing, but this is my hair blown out with the brush. Um, so basically the brush, it's pretty light. It's not that heavy. It, my arm didn't get that tired while brushing it. Um, but like I said, the bristles are only on the, the sides, like this, the sides, like this middle section. There's no like actual brush bristles, bristles, as you can see. Um, I have a bit of hair in here, quite a bit, but that's because I just took my hair out of braids. So it's a lot of shedding going on right now. But I feel like when you do it, you kind of have to like obviously kind of twist it too because the bristles are on the side. And if you brush like this, you're not getting any bristles. Um, yeah, so basically, I mean, my hair feels soft. It's just like not as straight as I wanted it to be. Um, it's very, it's still very poofy. And I felt like I was going over it a bunch of times just to try to get it straight. Oh, look at it. I'm gonna go ahead and braid my hair and then we can do the outro and last minute thoughts. My final thoughts are this brush, I will continue to use it. It is, uh, I give it a four point, a four stars out of five. It's three settings, I only use high because I have very thick hair as you can see. Um, and I just put my hair slipped back into a ponytail. Nothing special, I don't really, I've never wore this hairstyle, but yeah, nothing special. I don't like how that's like that, but whatever. Maybe I'm balding, whatever. But anyways, yeah, this is a nice tool. I think this was about $40, 30 to $40 around that price range. Um, even for the dupe, I think the Revlon was 40 or $50. But I think dupes are like 30 to $40. But it's lightweight. I will continue to use it when I want to do a blowout. It does better than my regular blow dryer. And yeah, overall, I like it. I just don't like how I feel like it should heat up the same way it does in the beginning throughout the whole brush and it doesn't do that but I mean for the most part it's okay I wish it would have been sleeker better not less poofy but I mean it blew out my hair so yeah basically it's not bad four out of five stars yeah it's not that bad lightweight I'll keep using it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have tried this, let me know in the comments what you think about it. Or let me know your thoughts about how it did on my hair um, in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.